Hi, I am Chela, and I just made you a practice series. So let me introduce it to you. This is going to be the first of five practices in a series that I'm calling, maybe I don't need to work so hard. So first let's talk about a little epidemic that's been um, irritating the crud out of me lately and that I've been seeing with so many people I've been working with and just my regular pals that we're dealing with. And it's what I see in the, um, I'm gonna blame the big bag, bad patriarchy, is this uh, obsession with productivity and growth. So I don't know if you've had this experience, but what I've noticed is a lot of people have the experience of, I need to be moving, I need to be growing, I need to be producing, I need to be publishing, I need to be making stuff happen. And that impulse, that impulse to go and that impulse to move and that impulse to grow and that impulse to produce is awesome. It's creative, it's powerful, um, yay, yay. Except that if we look at what we see in culture, particularly what we see in our, in our current capitalistic system, is um, always growing. The only way for, for this system to thrive is for us to always grow and always produce. Um, and the insanity of that is that nothing in the natural world works like that. Everything else has a death phase. Everything else has an incubation phase. Everything else has, oh, I can't see that little seed coming out of the ground yet. Um, or, well, we can't see that there's a baby growing in there yet. So there's this whole other um, mysterious phenomenon to creation and growth and making things happen that just generally out in what we see and um, what we're fed that isn't there. It's not honored. It's not valued as much as getting stuff done. So this practice series looks at maybe we don't need to be doing things in the way we're doing things. And here's why I think it's relevant is people are tired. People are tired. People are stressed out. People are overworked. Um, and it just seems completely unnecessary. Now, the little caveat is that the fear could be that I'm about to give you a practice series that says, well, don't get anything done. And a lot of people feel this tremendous pressure that, well, I'm not doing enough. I'm not far along enough. So if I do less, I'm going to be less productive. So we're going to come at this from a bunch of different angles through these practices. And I'm, we're going to explore just one today. But I would like to say that effort and productivity don't necessarily go together in the way that you might believe that they do. Um, more effort, more will, more energy output does not equal better results, more productivity. So today I want to explore that a little bit from um, just how much physical energy we actually give to things. And I'm going to give an example from my own um, stressed out dramatic life that happened one day. And this was when I was walking down the hall to my office. And you may be able to relate to the experience of lots to do spinning around in the head, um, finite period of time to do it, lots of stress and agitation and like, Ugh, I got to get this done. So that was my experience. And I'm walking along and I noticed from walking down the hall to opening the door to going to my desk, what was happening in my body was like, Ugh. You know, like that. So I was um, mind racing, clenched all in here, and and like like the movements, I was rushing. The amount of energy that I was actually putting out, simply walking to to my office, was like energy that could really have been put into something else or actually stayed within my system, which could have been nourishing and relaxing and nice. Um, but instead, it was just expelling all over the place. So this first practice is just to start to get you in touch with, am I moving in the world in a way where I'm expending energy that's unnecessary? Am I putting more effort into this than is actually needed? In our other practices, we're going to start to explore this kind of push, pull, relax, incubate versus produce, lots of juiciness coming your way. But this first one, we're going to start with, what is my way of physically engaging with my environment. So here's the practice. When you're moving around doing an everyday thing, so whether it's, um, say you're writing your list, here's a pen, I've got a prop. CS Evolving? Props. Notebook. So you've got your pen and you're writing. 
How hard are you gripping the pen? How fiercely are you writing on the paper? Can you loosen your grip? Um, this ends up being a physical metaphor for life. You know, we hold on so tightly for, to things. We really press through things. So can you lighten your grip? When you're moving through your kitchen, doing dishes, cooking dinner, are you like slamming cupboards and rushing around? And like how much physical effort are you putting into scrubbing those dishes? Um, walking outside, getting into your car. So just notice yourself and your environment. And the practice is noticing your body as you move through space and relaxing it. See how little effort you can actually give to something. And the interesting thing is, is except in the case of really slowing down your speed, so if you're giving, giving a lot of effort to rushing, then um, giving less effort for that, to that will actually alter the time it takes. Um, but in most cases, relaxing your effort won't reduce your productivity in terms of time. So it, it, it'll actually start to give you an expansive experience of time because so much of this I don't have enough time it's just how we're experiencing it and how we engage and relate to time actually alters how it is for us so if you're feeling like rush stress rush stress start with how am I moving through space and can I breathe a little deeper and a little slower can I loosen my grip and move with a bit less effort so give that a go for a week and see what happens and then next week, I'm going to throw another practice at you to see if you can start to have the experience of not working quite so hard and see what it opens up for you. Thanks.